Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, jobs report came out, 209,000 versus whatever the estimate was. Uh, we did 1325 on the upside, 1313 on the downside, so that's your range after jobs. Um, more importantly, we're seeing expansion now out of compression. We saw a very strong day yesterday. Uh, we still have our short recommendation on from two days ago where we recommended to our subscribers to short the overnight close with a risk marker above the middle band. So that trade has been up as much as 55 handles at one point. Uh, we've, taken, we've taken profits, but we're still holding. Uh, our plan is to hold and see what happens after we get our first real rally. I think that's going to be key. Uh, the first real rally is going is to determine whether or not the bears mean business. So what has happened today is we've really hung around in what I call the channel, which is between the second and third standard deviation Bollinger Bands. Uh, the 100-day exponential moving average here um, uh, kind of stopped the train, at least momentarily. I really want to see how we trade today. I would not be surprised if over the next one to two sessions, we rally as high as the 50-day exponential moving average, the red line here. Um, Back in April, May, the 50-day exponential moving average was support on five occasions, and we consistently traded off of that up to higher levels and did very well with it. And that ultimately culminated in the last band ride. If this area now goes resistance, you could see a fairly precipitous drop in the market. The last time we saw that dynamic play out was during the band ride in January, where we had a big day down. A second day down, slowly rally back to the red line, 50-day exponential moving average. Failed there miserably, and we did 80 down to the, that 17, uh, 32 low. So am I looking for that setup again? Yes. That would be my ideal setup. I don't usually get my ideal setup, but the setup is there. So we're going to get some, you know, we're going to get a face ripper of a rally. If it's not today, it will certainly be Monday. And the, the character of the market over the intermediate term is going to depend very much on how the bears react to that rally. It's not enough for them to knock it down and create a higher low versus whatever, where, wherever the low happens to be on this pullback. They have to do a lower high and then break those lows. If they do that, then you can. Then I think we're in a genuine correction. So we're seeing some band expansion. Whichever way those bands expanded, they were so tight, was going to be significant. That's playing out now. Whether that morphs into an actual market correction remains to be seen. The advantage is to the bears. It's absolutely to the bears. But never count the bulls out because... It's, it's not beyond the bulls to go ahead and, and put in a very big green day, chase the bears right back out of the pool, and, and continue higher. So I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the rally. I want to see what happens with the rally. For now, we have our shorts longer term and shorter term. Um, we're not putting longs on yet. I spent my entire day yesterday begging people not to get long. Uh, we had the trend day call by 10 o'clock in the morning. It's something that we pride ourselves on. And, you know, with the AD buried below 400, below negative 400, I should say, the market was going to do really nothing but close on lows. And that's, you know, that was your very typical trend day down. We've seen so many trend days up with the AD, you know, jammed and stuck above 400. On those days, we close on highs. This is simply the inverse. So, Please be careful out there. There will be rallies. There's much more of an opportunity today for a decent rally than there ever was yesterday, but we have to get into the regular session and see what some of these metrics are telling us. So everybody have a great day. Have a great weekend. Follow us on, on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website. Come check out the chat room. So I give you some insight as to what we've been doing. And if you trade this stuff all the time, I feel very confident that we can help your trading and help your bottom line. So um, look forward to meeting you. I'll be back Monday morning with another webcast. Trade them well.